So in this video, I am going to be showing you three ways that you can use your Flowdesk email marketing software with your Squarespace website. If you would like to see more Flowdesk or Squarespace tutorials, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be alerted when I do publish new videos. I am publishing new videos every single week. But the first and most obvious way you can use Flowdesk with your Squarespace website is to add sign up forms around the site. So I've got one here on my homepage. Um, I've also got a separate page dedicated to my sign up form as well, just here. You could make it much more elaborate than that. Um, I also add my newsletter sign up forms to the bottom of my blog posts. There really are infinite possibilities for where you can add your sign up forms because Flowdesk makes it so easy to embed them on any website builder, not just Squarespace. Um, but essentially, Essentially what you need to do is in Flowdesk, go to the form section, create new. And then once you have designed your form, it really is as simple as copying a snippet of code into Squarespace. And then that is where your form can go. So if I just go back to my homepage here, I can show you just briefly that if I go and edit my homepage section here, we see script disabled. That's absolutely normal because this is a code block. And usually when you are editing uh, code blocks in the kind of back end of Squarespace, you'll see that message. But to everyone else who's visiting your website, normally they won't see that. So don't worry. If we click edit here, you can see this is my code snippet for my Flowdesk form. Now, if you are wondering more about that, um, I do have a completely separate video tutorial talking you all the way through creating a form and embedding it really easily onto your Squarespace website. So definitely go and check that out. Um, but I just wanted to mention that as kind of the most obvious feature. You can also add pop up forms to your Squarespace website using this same um, system here. Again, you create the forms within Flowdesk itself and just embed them really easily into Squarespace just like that. So the second way you can use Flowdesk with Squarespace is to automatically have your contact form inquiries added to a Flowdesk segment. So rather than when someone fills in your contact form, it lands in your inbox and then you need to manually copy and paste their details um, as a subscriber into one of your segments or into your subscriber list. Um, it would be great to have that happen automatically. And there is a way to do this. So currently, as you probably know, Flowdesk is in beta. They haven't released all their features yet. So don't um, have native kind of connections with things like Squarespace and stuff like that. But there are workarounds using a software called Zapier, which is an automation software that I like to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this just to show you. Um, essentially, it is a software that connects with different apps and websites around the internet and creates automatic um, tasks for you called Zaps. So I think on the free account, you can have five different Zaps that can do up to 100 tasks per month, I think, on the free plan. Um, but obviously, um, as you do more and have more in contact form inquiries and things like that, you might want to upgrade your plan. But for now, that should be more than enough. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into Squarespace here and go to my form block and open up the form and click on the storage tab. Now you can see here that um, the main place that the contact form inquiry is going to go to is my email address that I've set up there. But there's also some other options here, including Zapier. So what we just want to do is click to connect um, and it's saying awaiting connection to Zapier and the rest you can do within Zapier itself. So we'll just click apply here and click save and go into Zapier and create a new Zap. So the first thing you need to do is connect Squarespace and uh, choose a trigger event. Um, the only trigger event actually available on Squarespace is a new form submission. Um, so we'll click continue. Then it will ask you to log in, which I already have. And then you need to choose the form on your website um, that you want to send to Flowdesk. So we're going to click contact form, click continue. It might ask you to do a test. And as long as that all kind of looks like it would be normal uh, people's details with a message, with an email address, things like that, just click continue. Then what you want to do is basically say, when someone fills out that contact form, 
you then want them to be added to Flowdesk. So we're going to click Flowdesk. It will ask you to sign into your account. We want to create a new subscriber. Click continue. And then what you need to do is match up the um, email address with that kind of test one with what you want it, uh, how you want it to appear within Flowdesk. So we've got first name and then we've got last name. So we want to match up all those details. We want to choose a segment as well. Um, I'm just gonna just click one of these for a minute and click continue. And then it will ask you to do a test and confirm. Now I do have a lot more um, in-depth tutorials about using Zapier um, that goes into more detail about this in my email marketing with Flowdesk online course. So if you are interested in lots more automations like that and how to use Zapier with Flowdesk to get the most out of it, definitely check that out. Um, but that's just kind of a brief overview about how you can create automations with Squarespace and Flowdesk so that you don't have to automatically, um, sorry, so that you don't have to manually add in your contact form inquiries to Flowdesk. However, I would point out that um, due to GDPR law, you need to be careful about who you are adding to your Flowdesk um, subscriber list, whether people have actually given you proper permission to um, add them to your list. You know, if people are just filling out a contact form inquiry, unless you have something on there that says you will also be adding them to your email list, they may not be aware and so they're not able to give you permission. So be really careful about that. There is a um, an area of GDPR that is about fair use policy. So um, it goes kind of along the lines of if someone is contacting you to use one of your services or buy a product or whatever, then the likelihood is they will be happy to receive emails from you. So that's fine, but that is um, a very gray area of the law and I would definitely do your own research in that. Um, I can't be liable for any advice um, that I give on GDPR laws, but definitely do your own research. So the third way you might want to use Flowdesk with Squarespace is to automatically have your e-commerce customers added to a segment in Flowdesk. So um, at the moment, this is what my shop looks like. I've got some online courses here. I've got some notepads that I sell, but um, in Squarespace for the moment, the only way that I can add subscribers to an email list is by either using Squarespace's own email marketing software or through MailChimp. So obviously, I don't want to just leave it there and have them in MailChimp. I want to add them to Flowdesk because that is the email marketing software that we're using instead. So um, in order to do this, again, because Flowdesk is in beta, they don't have kind of native connections with e-commerce software just yet. It might be a feature they release in the future, but for now, you will need to use kind of a multi-task workaround using Zapier again. So um, what I basically like to do is create a free MailChimp account. Um, you don't have to do anything else other than create the account and create a list on there. So I've logged into my MailChimp account here. Do not worry about the interface of it. I know you've probably spent time learning Flowdesk, so you don't need to go out and learn a whole other email marketing software right now. You just need to create an account and have an audience. That is literally it. And then what you want to do is within Squarespace, you want to connect your MailChimp to Squarespace in the checkout area of the commerce section so that when customers buy a product from you, they will automatically be added to your subscriber list within MailChimp. Now, um, they will be asked to check a tick box if they would actually like to do that. So some of them may uncheck the tick box if they say they don't want to receive emails from you and that is absolutely fine, but most of them probably will check it so that they can receive offers and um, news from you in the future and they will now automatically be added to your MailChimp list. Now what you need to do is go into Zapier and basically create a zap using MailChimp and logging in and creating the trigger event that there's a new subscriber so that every time a new, um, a new customer orders a product from you on Squarespace, they will now via the Squarespace and MailChimp connection automatically be added to MailChimp. And then as soon as they are automatically added to MailChimp, we're now setting it up in Zapier so that they're then also 
automatically added to Flowdesk. It seems a complicated way around it, but if you would like to automate the process, this is the best way to do it. Um, again, I do go into way more detail about this in my online course. It is called Email Marketing with Flowdesk, and there's loads more content in there, all about automations and segmentation and much more complicated things that you can do with Flowdesk and Squarespace, but also just Flowdesk in general. And if you would like to learn, you know, how to actually grow a list and proper email marketing strategies, that is all in the course there too. But those are the three ways that you can use Squarespace and Flowdesk together. Again, if you do want to go into it all in more detail, I would highly recommend checking out my course, but this should give you a basic idea of how you can use the two together and where to get started. 